Quick here with Art Beats, and I'm excited that we have Professor of Crystal Nick Regine in the house to show us some really fun crystally blingy things. Welcome, Nick. Crystal, thanks for having me. Oh, so excited. How about if we uh, play with a little hot fix? What do you think? That sounds good. Let's get started. Okay, Nick, can you show us how to hot fix? Absolutely. So the materials that I have in front of me is a hot fix tool. I have a small mirror. I have some hot fix crystals. I have a pin, an additional tip that will go on the hot fix tool, and a piece of craft suede. So I'm working with SS20 stones. So what I normally do is I come over with the hot fix tool and I press down on top and I pick up the crystal. I'm looking into the mirror so that I can see that the glue is going to melt. And that way it's one less procedure where I don't have to lift it over and turn the whole tool over. So I just come back over press one. I'm looking into the mirror. I can see the adhesive start to melt. I come over and I press down. You notice that on that one that it didn't release right away. And so another little tip and trick that I'm going to show you is is that sometimes when that you come down with the hot fix tool if you push down too much on top of the crystal you'll actually embed the crystal in the end of the tool. So there's a small groove on the side of the tool. You take a pin and you put it into there and when you would come over to the fabric, you would come down, and that would just lift the crystal off of there. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's so quick and easy. So, Crystal, the next tip that I want to show you is um, sometimes you'll be working with multiple sizes of crystal. So instead of changing the tip each time, there's actually a tip that has a flat-headed pot to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the SS20 that I was working with, but I want to use an oven mitt and I want to twist this one off. Remember that that's very, very important because the end of that is ha uh, very hot and if you grab that without the oven mitt, you won't be happy. That'll only happen once, right? Yes, it's just <laughs> once and then you'll never forget it. So I'm going to turn around and I'm going to screw the new one in. and Then I'm going to have to wait about two minutes or so for that to get hot. So what would take place is that I could apply different size crystals onto this and then I could just take the flat headed pot and hold it onto the crystal and allow the heat to transfer through the top of the crystal, radiate through and actually melt the glue on the back side of the crystal. So if I had different sizes it's easy just to work with the flat headed one. It's really your choice. Great Nick, thanks for sharing. So Nick, can you show us how to use a hotfix transfer? I most certainly can. What I have in front of me is a transfer or a motif of a cherry. So I'm going to actually pick this up and I'm going to separate it. It comes on a mylar paper which actually sticks and holds the stones in place. So I'm going to peel that off. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to position this motif in the middle of a piece of craft suede. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to reach over and I'm going to grab a piece of Teflon paper. What the Teflon paper does is it actually protects the transfer so if any glue was to ever ooze out from underneath the transfer it wouldn't stick to the top of your iron. The iron is set at the hottest temperature setting possible with no steam. I actually don't even want any water inside of that iron. So I'm going to cover this. I'm going to come over and I'm going to place the iron on the top. So I want to start to count. It's generally about 25 to 30 seconds. So I'm going to say 15 seconds went by there. And I think we'll be good. So let's go ahead and we'll remove the Teflon paper. Now do you have to wait for it to cool before you pull off the top sheet? I actually do because the glue that's underneath there um, could still be wet so if I lift it off that mylar paper then it would lift the stones back onto the crystal. The other thing that you can do is if I do lift that up and all of a sudden I notice that one of the crystals didn't stick I could place that down, I could put the Teflon paper back down on top and reheat it again. I can keep reheating and told that I get those crystals to stick. Well, let's check and see how that we did. I want to slowly pull this tape off because if I rip too fast and then a crystal like I said didn't stick I can just go back do the same thing and add some more heat. But as you noticed 
they all stuck. Ooh, pretty. It looks great. Great. Thanks, Nick. You're welcome.